few months ago on a Sunday evening around 9 p.m. I was in my uni accommodation, I was in my uni house, and I'd got back from the gym that afternoon and I had just finished eating because at the time I was bulking and trying to gain muscle mass. I got back, I finished eating, I went into the bathroom to have to get, just go to the toilet and then I looked in the mirror just like checking out like my progress and everything like that and it clicked like I had become a lot more attractive than I was a year prior I had gained like 10 kilograms of muscle mass still a similar body fat percentage and I was just much happier with how I looked so 10 kilograms of muscle mass looked so much better than before but I kind of realized that even though I was a lot more happy with how I looked and I was a lot more willing to like take my top off and like flex my muscles, that didn't really change anything for me in terms of how confident I was in myself as a person and how I presented myself to other people. Which is the reason I started all of this, like improving my attractiveness, you know? like getting haircuts and looking after my skin and improving my body all right that's the reason i all started all of it because i lacked the social skills i was unconfident around people completely but i'm talking about shaking and like heartbeat heartbeat racing and like stumbling over your words constantly especially around new people and i realized also that this wasn't like a consistent thing in all of my life this was only when i was meeting new people that I wasn't comfortable around yet or when I was around people that I perceived as higher than me for some reason like they were higher high social status or whatever and I, I sort of had this realization that my confidence hasn't increased at all and I think a lot of people have experienced this as well you know their confidence doesn't increase when their physical attractiveness increases I realized that I was playing a narrative in my head I was believing that I would always be this awkward person. I'd always be this guy with lacking social skills and just not confident in who he is, not able to talk to girls, not able to like spit riz basically. I always believed this. I always played this idea in my head and it held me back for so long. The main thing I did to change this was I had to look, look inwards. Rather than changing outwards, you know trying to improve confidence uh, attractiveness to improve confidence that's an external thing right i had to look inwards i had to look, look at my beliefs about myself so i started journaling i started journaling trying to find the limiting belief that is keeping me playing this over and over in my head and it was essentially that i was always this awkward and anxious guy i was an introvert and that, that was just how I am. That's just how I was, naturally. How to get... Because you, you can do this process. It's quite a simple process. You've just got to journal and just figure out what belief it is, you know? you just got to ask questions to yourself. And journal it down. You can quite easily come up with this belief and figure it out. But how do you erase that from yourself? Because I'll be honest, it's not completely erased from me. It's a lot more than it was. Because right now, I'm talking to people that I haven't met before, and I'm just completely chill. Like, compared to before when I was heartbeat racing, you know, that sort of thing, like handshaking, I can just talk to people, I'm more chill. It goes more smoothly. I have better thoughts in my head, much better thoughts. It's not completely erased, like, that's going to take time. But I understand, like, to get to that point, what I've had to do is I've had to have, like, a mental talk of war. So when, you, when you're journaling and you're figuring out, okay, why do I have this belief about myself? Realizing it's not true, you've got to almost ask yourself questions and you've got to get emotional about it to, to some extent. You've got to get kind of mad at like, why the fuck do I believe this? It's pissing me off, it doesn't make any sense. So I asked myself the question of, why do I believe I've always been this socially anxious guy? And well, it's just because I never really fully developed my social skills as a kid. I never pushed myself. I never became a learner in all realms of life. And because of that, because I was playing this narrative in my head, it made me avoid these situations even more, which played into the negative feedback loop of not learning, of remaining awkward. Do you see what I mean? 
You've got to ask yourself and these logical questions which help you break down why you're not this confident person. Like you don't have to be the most attractive person in the world to feel comfort in yourself and to feel good about yourself on a daily basis. It shouldn't be something extremely difficult for all of us to grasp. And this is the main thing, you know, this is the main limiting factor in all of my life, stopping me from making the friends that I wanted, stopping me from feeling good about myself, stopping me from engaging with everyone and just learning and being the person I wanted to be. If you're struggling with the similar sort of thing, man, you've got to do this journaling process. You've got to look inwards and it takes time. You gotta be patient, you gotta enjoy the journey of slowly realizing that these beliefs in the past were bullshit and slowly becoming more confident. That is the journey you must enjoy. If you want to help with this, I'll happily have a 30 minute free call with you. The link is in the description and the pinned comment.